Oh god, I'm a stupid idiot. I'm really stupid. I've been have well, I was gonna say I've been having bug problems, but that's not actually true. It's not like I think it's just very very tiny flying bugs around here that congregate congregate around this and this. So I read somewhere that you, if you could if you put some onion, not onion, garlic cloves into water let it sit and then that's like a natural bug repellent i was like you know what i'm gonna try that i don't have garlic cloves but i do have dried mold garlic let me put that into water let it sit and then i just poured the water out and there was just garlic everywhere i was like oh god well, we're gonna have to wait and see how that does against the bugs. I mean, I had to put a, a layer of dirt over this right here, which has been a failure. I think I put the seeds in too, too deep in this to the point where they, they didn't sprout. So... Anyways, so I don't mind putting in another layer of dirt right here Just to Lessen the smell I only did it on these two and I was like, uh, you know what? That's good enough And this one, I should probably say I put a little bit right there A little bit there I was like, you know what? I'm not putting any more dirt I'm gonna have to Because I don't wanna kill shit these right here are two different types of garlics that are growing and why am I stupid well first of all I don't know if it works I was like you know I'm gonna try it the problem is everything smells garlic now I probably should have let it set in the water longer and then probably sieved the water so that I didn't get all these garlic bits that I get right here because putting in those clovers you don't you then to pick out the clover because the clover is the garlic is supposed to infuse the water to keep the bugs away and that's the type of bugs I'm talking about right there this little thing that well I missed uh, it's allowed to live they don't bother me so yeah, that is that, and as if we look right there, that little tomato is surviving. I think I dropped so like a seed of tomato there, and I was like, you know what, I might as well push that in just to see how it does, and well, it's doing okay, it seems. It sprouted, alright, that's good enough. And then this right here, I don't remember what the fuck I planted in that. A lot of them died because I planted them too high up to the point that when they started growing, their roots was actually above ground. They couldn't keep up. They were falling. They were dying. So I'm just going to let that be. See how it goes. The ones who survive, well, the strong will survive and the weak will die. And here we have some mint.